Today, we're going to explore a possible ice bridge between two powerful nations. I'll be taking you on a geographical riddle wrapped in a historical enigma. I'm talking about the incredibly narrow gap that separates the United States and Russia. Most of us envision these countries as distant titans, geopolitical chess players on opposite sides of the world. But hold on to your lab coats because at their closest point, the distance separating them is less than your average 5K run. That's right, you could almost hear the neighbor's rooster crowing if there weren't a freezing body of water standing in the way. Prepare to be amazed because the tail of the Bering Strait is coming right up. So what am I waiting for? Let's spin our globe like a disco ball and zoom in on that Arctic shimmy where Russia and the United States are practically Eskimo kissing. Let's set the stage for the two neighboring titans. We start at the Bering Strait, which acts as a geographic pinch point connecting the vast Pacific and Arctic oceans. On one side, we have the rugged Alaskan coastline, the wild, untamed edge of the USA. Peering across the waves, you'll find Russia's Chukchi Peninsula, a land of sweeping tundra and stoic beauty. The distance between Russia's mainland and the US is about 55 miles, 85 kilometers. But there's a secret ingredient in this geographical stew, the Diomede Islands. These two rocky outposts are nature's way of playing a delightful trick on us. Big Diomede belongs to Russia, and Little Diomede is part of the US. And get this, they're only about 2.4 miles. That's 3.8 kilometers apart. That's shorter than the length of most major airport runways. You can just briskly walk for an hour on the ice and voila, you're in Russia. Or ice skate your way to Mother Russia. Or so, that's what they call it. It's a lot, much shorter than the Vegas Strip. You know, Las Vegas, the place where you can have some fun. That shows how short the distance is from Russia's territory to the United States. And here's where the plot thickens, or perhaps thins, like time itself. The international dateline slices right between these islands, creating a time warp that would make Doctor Strange raise an eyebrow. Big Diomede, which we call the Tomorrow Island, is almost a full day ahead of Little Diomede, which we can call the Yesterday Island. Think about it. You could theoretically celebrate New Year's twice in just a few minutes. It's like having a real-life time-traveling shortcut courtesy of our planet's ingenious geography. The Bering Strait's defining characteristic isn't just its geography, but its climate. This region experiences long, bitter winters where the sea transforms into a sprawling sheet of ice. In the dead of winter, an ice bridge can link the Diomede Islands. That means, for a short time, you could actually walk from the US to Russia. No passport needed, just warm socks. Of course, it's not exactly a casual stroll. Brutal winds, shifting ice, and the risk of falling into freezing waters make it a trek for the truly daring. But for a brief moment each year, the two nations usually separated by politics and ocean are connected by nothing more than nature's biggest popsicle. But before you start dreaming of a border crossing walk, let's ground ourselves in reality. This isn't a stroll in the park. It's a journey across a dynamic and unpredictable landscape. The ice bridge is anything but stable. Shifting ice flows, strong currents, and bone chilling temperatures create an environment where even the most seasoned explorer would think twice. Furthermore, crossing the border without authorization is illegal. Trespassers can face arrest, deportation, and a serious conversation with authorities. While a few intrepid individuals have attempted the crossing, their stories usually end with a swift return, courtesy of the authorities. The Bering Strait, despite its proximity, presents a formidable barrier to casual travel. The Bering Strait is more than a geographic oddity. It's a place where history, culture, and the raw power of nature converge. This narrow waterway has witnessed migrations, conflicts, and dreams of connection. Some visionaries have proposed building a bridge or tunnel beneath the Bering Strait, uniting North America and Asia in a monumental engineering feat. However, such a project would face immense challenges. The costs would be astronomical, and geopolitical cooperation remains uncertain. Still, the dream persists, fueled by the desire to bridge divides and connect cultures. So, can you really walk from the US to Russia? Technically, yes. 
but only under the harshest winter conditions, when an ice bridge forms between the Diomede Islands. Even then, it's an incredibly risky journey, with frigid temperatures, unpredictable ice, and the constant threat of being swept away by shifting currents. Oh, and let's not forget, it's also illegal. So unless you're looking to star in an international incident, it's best to admire this rare connection from a safe distance, for now. But the real question is, what other hidden wonders and geographical paradoxes await discovery on our planet? What other boundaries are ripe for exploration? What will you uncover as you keep unraveling the depth of every spot here on our Earth? That's all for today, fellow explorers. If you enjoyed this scientific adventure, be sure to tap that like button, subscribe for more mind-expanding journeys, and share this video with your fellow adventurers. Until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep that flame of curiosity blazing.